Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on a get to know me tag video. So I got this tag video from XOXO Kirsten and I will have her channel linked down below. And I have been obsessed with her channel lately, just hopping on there, watching all of her videos. She actually did a tag video, I think it was like a beauty yearbook or something along the lines of that. It was just like a bunch of questions about other beauty gurus here on YouTube. And she listed me in her video as her new favorite newest person to YouTube who like deserves more subscribers and something along the lines of that anyway and I was so happy and thrilled that she thought of me and mentioned me in her video that means so much to me thank you so much girl seriously you are so sweet and I love your little personality I love the way you talk your bright gorgeous eyes love thank you so much for mentioning me in your video so had to give you a little shout out and mine um she did this around five months ago I think it said and I like the questions and I figured since I like hit over a hundred plus subscribers now that I am you know theoretically speaking talking to over a hundred of you now so if you had any questions or wondered where I'm from or a little bit about me that this would kind of help you guys get to know a little bit about me and if you guys are into this sort of thing then just keep watching and let me go ahead and say that I am so sorry that my hair is like right now because this is like for real like my hair. It's like thick and it's like it's probably not going to show up at all on camera but it's like so kinky curly and like spirally curly in the back and since I do have longer hair it kind of weighs it down but if it were shorter I'm sure it'd be like ringlets but um yeah so this is just like thick frizzy hair I always let my hair air dry for the most part before I style it straighten it curl it whatever I'm gonna do to it and yeah so I figured we are going to uh, dinner and a movie with some friends later and I had a little bit of time to kill so I wanted to go ahead and film this tag video while I was sitting around waiting for my hair to do whatever it's gonna do and yeah <laughs> and I like Instagrammed a picture of me like I love my little Superman shirt and I also loved like all S stuff because you know my name is Summer so yeah love it and I will have all of these questions linked down in the bottom bar in case you guys want to do this tag video or blah 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 Number one, when and where were you born? I was born on November 3rd, 1986. So whoop whoop, Scorpio Club, holla. And I was born in Panama City, Florida. Question number two, who were your parents and siblings? Well, <laughs> and Kirsten, the, one of the reasons I wanted to do this tag video is because we have a lot in common, girl. Like, it was kind of trippy. I was like, huh, what? Y'all mama's name is Kim? <laughs> So my mom, I have a mom, of course, I have a mom. <laughs> my mom's name is Kim. Me and my mom are super close. She's so sweet. Everybody thinks that we look like sisters. Like everyone else thinks that we look like that much alike. My mom is a beautiful woman. We are very close. She's a really great woman. Got a great heart. I love you, mama. I actually have one brother. His name is Eric. He lives down in South Florida. So yeah. Question number three, do you remember any memories from ages one through six? I actually do. I have like a really good long-term memory. Like I can remember a lot of stuff that like happened years and years and years ago, but my short-term memory stinks. Like I can't remember what we talked about five minutes ago. Well, probably not one, but like more along the lines of five and six. So yeah, I do have some memories from back in the day. Number four, has your life changed from then to now? Absolutely, my life has changed from, oh gosh, 20, how old am I? I'm 26 now. So yeah, from like 20 years ago. I mean, yeah, like I'm obviously an adult now. I am married. I have two kids. Um, I am very proud of where I am in my life right now. So excited for the future and what it holds. So yeah, definitely life has <laughs> changed from 20 years ago. Question number five, what is my most memorable event? Well, I would definitely have to say when I got married and each time that I had both of my kids. If you have not gotten married or especially if you haven't had kids yet, that is something that you can't explain to anybody. Like, I've actually talked about this with one of my best friends, the one I'm going to dinner tonight with actually, and she doesn't have kids yet, but she's been married for very many years, um, just like I have. So um, just me trying to explain to her like what it is like to have kids because the majority of my friends um, are married and they do have kids because, you know, whenever you grow up and then you get married or you have children, you um, your group of friends kind of changes and you kind of go along with life and wherever it takes you. And so the majority of my friends now do have um, kids, but... Uh, one of my best friends she doesn't yet and I just try to like explain to her 
how that could be and you cannot there's just no way that you can you can say that you love your kids all day long but you can't explain to somebody who doesn't have a child just how much like it is definitely love at first sight I mean you would do anything for your baby you I mean just love them no matter what like you it's just you're just in love with them and that's the best way that I know how to explain it without like you know going on and on and on about my feelings but so yeah definitely um whenever I got married and had both of my babies number six describe yourself in one word Hmm, you describe yourself. I think I would probably have to say passionate. I really do care so much for other people and I put my heart and soul into anything that I'm doing and I just, um, I'm a very emotional person and I just give 110% in everything that I do. So yeah, I, I guess I would say passionate, caring, kind, anything along. Oh, well, wait, if I, probably talkative because if you know me, you know I could talk like. So it would either be talkative or like caring, compassionate, anything like that. Question number seven, do you have a middle name? I do have a middle name and my middle name is actually Summer. So my first name is Ashley. So I am Ashley Summer. Just in school, of course, since you go by your first name, whenever they call Roll or whatever. So I had like my school friends would call me Ashley. And um, but my family and my close friends always called me Summer. So I've always just been known as Summer, but I do answer to both just because like I have certain people who still call me Ashley that remember me from like middle school or whatever. If like we get back in touch on Facebook or you know, stuff like that, like they would be like, didn't your name used to be Ashley? So it's really actually kind of funny. Like I have a double alias or something like that. But yeah, so my middle name is Summer. Always have went by Summer and yeah. So just go by summer. Question number eight, what is your favorite subject in school? Well, whenever I was in school, um, I would definitely have to say English. I was always like an honors student when it came to English. And um, you know the saying that like if you're good in English, then you suck at math and vice versa. If you're really good at math, you're so bad in English. I don't know if that's true, but it definitely is true for me because I don't know squat about numbers. Like I can obviously do basic math and subtraction, whatever, but I am horrible whenever it comes to anything outside of basic math and I've always just really loved English so I've always just been good at it so I guess that's why I liked it so much but yeah. <laughs> Question number nine, what is your favorite drink? Chocolate milk or water? I always drink chocolate milk pretty much every single day and I always 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 drink water so definitely either chocolate milk or water. Question number ten, what is your favorite song at the moment? I have so many favorite songs like I am the girl that listens to absolutely everything I love every genre of music pretty much out there I appreciate all music I appreciate anybody's talent or anything that they love to do and that they're really good at it I appreciate so I'm a really big music person like my style of music is probably more geared toward like the oldies like the 80s and the 90s and stuff like that I'm really liking the killers right now their new uh, song here with me. I love that song. I heard it on, um, I heard it on The Voice whenever Cassidy Pope sang it with The Killers live for the finale this year or this season. That's just the first song that popped into my head, but I could be sitting here all night telling you what kind of music like and bands that I like. There are so many, so many, but yeah, so whatever. Question number 11, what will you name your kids? And since I already have two kids, they obviously are already named because it'd be kind of weird if they weren't. So my son's name is Austin O'Neill and our daughter's name is Aslan Swan. So I thought it was really cool because I have a, a name. I am Ashley Summer. And so my baby girl has my initials because she is Aslan Swan. So Swan actually, like you guys, I'm like a diehard. I'm a twihard. Diehard Twilight fan. Like, and if you know, if you're a Twilight fan as yourself, you know Bella Swan. So but that's actually not where we got her middle name from at all. It just kind of worked out that way and I was totally down with it whenever my husband like suggested it. I was like, Bella Swan, holla. Swan is actually a family name on my husband's side. His grandmother's middle name was Swan. So wanted to keep it in the family so it's special and it has meaning to us and it's different. Like I don't hear anybody walking around saying that their name is Swan. <laughs> so my, oh my hair is all kind of crazy. It looks like a lion's mane. Like seriously, it's how like floofy and like, gosh I have to brush it out so it's not as curly so then it like I'm constantly running my fingers through it because if not it's like wavy and curly and I mean hey I like that for whenever I want to like I don't even ever throw gel in it but like I don't know whatever it just like looks 
it is what it is. Anyways, getting sidetracked. But my son's name is Austin O'Neill and we both just like the name Austin and O'Neill is a family name too. Um, my husband's middle name is O'Neill. His dad's name, middle name is O'Neill. So um, just keep it in the family. They mean something to us. And yeah. Number 12, do you participate in any sports? Currently, no, I don't because I am 26 years old. And so yeah, like <laughs> sports or I mean, I don't play anything professionally anyway. But back in school and stuff, I was a cheerleader. So cheering was always like my niche. Like I always loved to cheer. Um, I tried soccer one time and um, just to give it a go or whatever. And I just I mean, I actually tried out for the team and I made it for like the first cut, but then I didn't make it actually onto the team. And I was so proud of myself for just even making it that far because I had never had any soccer experience at all. And then I went out for track and I remember the first day of practice, I like got into my mom's car. I could not breathe. And I looked at her and I was like, I am not doing track mom. That is too much running. Like they, all they do is run. And she was like, um, Yes, child, all they do is run. It is track. And so, yeah, so that never worked out. Um, But, yeah, so just cheerleading, I totally, like, I was going to try out in college. Like, my first year of college, I was going to try out for the community college that I went to. Um, But I just never did because I ended up, like, coming back to my hometown here for spring break. And that's when I met my husband. And so I stayed. So that never happened. But, yeah, so cheerleading was, like, my thing. Question number 13, what is your favorite book? And um, all the Twilight books, I would have to say. I actually saw Twilight the movie before I got into the books. I was obsessed after I saw Twilight. I watched that movie probably five times a day. My husband was so sick of it. He was so sick of me. Like, I was just in the zone. Like, I felt like a crazy person. That's how obsessed with the, <laughs> with the series that I am. Um, so, yeah, like, and then I went on to... Um, new moon eclipse and breaking dawn and i promise you breaking dawn is the longest book out of the series and i read it in seriously three days my fate everything about me was consumed into twilight and it was so ridiculous but hey whenever you love something you love it and i'm like a diehard fan whenever i love something so passionate there you go and yeah so um the twilight series question number 14 what is your favorite color my favorite favorite color is aquamarine turquoise of course I love pink I love purple um, I'm just like a really colorful person I love colors I, I love like royal blue that's so in right now I love that color but um my favorite color to wear like stuff on me would either be black or white so yeah but my favorite color is like aqua marine question number 15 what is your favorite animal i love dolphins and i love puppies i love kittens cats dogs um my favorite animal i don't i mean i like all animals like i like seals um let me just go with the dolphin like we live on the beach i love dolphins dolphins are so friendly they're so much fun to swim with um there's so, I, I just love dolphins so much so i'm just gonna i'm gonna go with dolphins yeah that is my answer Question number 16, what is your favorite perfume? I seriously cannot give you a favorite name of a perfume right now. I love so many perfumes. I was actually tagged to do the perfume tag and I need to do that, but a lot of my perfumes are in storage right now. I kind of wanted to do that, you know, tag whenever I have my whole collection so you guys can see. Um, but one that I, the first one that's like sticking out in my head that I've been loving since last year is um, by Victor and Rolf and it's the Flower Bomb perfume. Flower Bomb is just one that just stands out. It doesn't smell like anything else. I love smells that don't smell like anything else. Like I just want a very unique and original scent and yeah, Flower Bomb is definitely it. So if you guys haven't smelled it, like next time you're in a Dillard's or Sephora or I don't know if Ulta even has it, but smell it if you haven't already and tell me what you think because I love Flower Bomb. I have the Roller Ball. I have the, the perfume. I have the body lotion. I love Flower Bomb so much. So yeah, I'll just say Flower Bomb, you know, for whatever, for the answer to this question. Yeah, Flower Bomb. Question number 17, what is your favorite holiday? I'm sorry if you hear something in the background. The hair dryer is going, my husband. Um, anyways, like I said, we're getting ready to go. Number 17, what is your favorite holiday? And definitely hands down, my favorite holiday is Christmas. I love everything about Christmas. I'm so sad that it is over with, but I can't believe we're almost into February and it's just absolutely insane. But I love Christmas. I love everything about it. The feeling, the fuzzy feeling that I get inside, the memories that I get to create with my kids and my family and my husband now. Um, the food, the presents, the lights, everything about Christmas, I love it. I am like in Christmas mode pretty much all of fall and winter time. Like I still have, like look, we still have Christmas lights like up 
<laughs> back in the room like I just can't I mean I think they're, they're like cute decor anyways but yeah like I love Christmas so much question number 18 have you ever graduated high school yes I did I graduated in 2003 see technically I was supposed to graduate in 2005. My last few years of high school, I actually went to this little Christian school and I didn't go there until graduating. My last like senior year, I ended up homeschooling from this academy. And so that is how I got my diploma. And I actually got to start college a year earlier that way. So yes, I did graduate high school. <laughs> Question number 19, have you ever been out of the country? I have been out of the country one time whenever we flew into Nassau, Bahamas and stayed in Atlantis, the most beautiful, breathtaking resort I have ever seen, ever been to. Definitely cannot wait to go back there. Since I do live in Florida, that is not even that far of a plane flight away, but I am one of those people that get really nervous on planes and flying over water especially, so baby steps. We're actually going to go to Hawaii, and even though that's not out of the country, it is a long way away from where I live and definitely have to fly over to water to get there, so that's going to be our next vacation, either that or Jamaica. We don't know which one yet, but I will let you know and definitely will be vlogging as I go. Question number 20, what other languages do you speak? or what languages do you speak? I speak English. <laughs> I know very little Spanish just from what the basic stuff that I had to learn in um, college whenever I took it. But yeah, so just English. No comprehende. Anything else? Like, no, not really. If I could learn one language, I think it would be French because I just love how they're like, ooh, z, ooh, oui, oui, merci, ooh. Like, I don't even know. Ooh, wee, wee. Ooh, merci. Is that even French? Like, watch it be Italian or something. Like, no. I need to go back <laughs> to school and study history. Like, I need to be learned. I am geogra geographically. Geography. I am geographically challenged. Like, if I have to know where anything is, like, I have to see a globe to know where it is, like, from where I'm at. I am so bad. I'm like, that's where my blonde, like, my ditziness comes in. Like, too much bleach used to be up on this hair y'all or something like I am I'm a debt whatever number 21 who are your siblings and I actually already what is this another one who are your siblings um I just have one uh, a brother his name is Eric and he lives down in South Florida and he made me an aunt I was so excited to become an aunt number 22 what is your favorite store Forever 21 is what popped into my head right whenever I was watching Kirsten's video. She said that, that, that's what I thought whenever she read the question and then she said that too. So definitely Forever 21, like shopping wise. I definitely love like Bath and Body Works because I'm like a scent person, a uh, Sephora, Ulta, MAC. Oh my gosh, MAC. That's what really got me started into makeup and then after that, it just comes with the territory. I discovered Sephora and all the amazing, amazing brands. I could go on forever. Forever 21 for shopping. They just have the best clothes, great price. It's a store that I turn to if I like, am I going out, if I need a cute outfit, anything like sophisticated going out, like summer, whatever. They have everything in Forever 21. Question number 23, what is your favorite restaurant? Um, what's coming to my head? The Melting Pot. That is where my husband and I spend every anniversary. We just celebrated our seven year wedding anniversary last month, actually the 29th of December. So today is the 29th that I'm filming this video. And so we have been married for seven years and one month. And yeah, that is such an accomplishment these days. We have been together. We will have been together for nine years in May. Um, that's when we started dating in May of nine years ago. It's so crazy. Time goes by so quick. It is kind of pricey. So I mean, and we don't even live, like, the closest one is, like, an hour away, so it's not very practical for us to eat there that often, but I love to eat, so I love a lot of different places, but for time's sake of this video, I am just going to say the melting pot. Number 24, do you like school? I actually never minded school. I didn't like it so much whenever I was younger, of course, but um, I did enjoy college. I really did enjoy college because you made so many different friends from everywhere. You didn't live there. You were going there 
from all around. Like I uh, went to school over in Tallahassee. So there is the community college, Tallahassee Community College, which is where I went. I would have been going to Florida State had I stayed over there and finished. But so living in a college town like Tallahassee is definitely so much fun because you meet people from everywhere and you know you party you hang out you go to school like I was on the dean's list the national merits dean's list I did so good I was very proud of myself for that and so yeah I never minded school like as older me I never minded school I actually went to real estate school too I have my real estate license I am a licensed realtor in the state of Florida and so that is something else about me um that was hard. I think they said that's like the third hardest um, test to pass um, in the country. If I'm, that's just what I heard. I don't know. But yeah, it was definitely um, complicated and I was very proud of myself for having that. So yeah. Question number 25. Who is your favorite YouTube beauty guru? Guru on YouTube. I have so, so many. Um, Makeup by Tiffany D is the one that I first started watching and fell in love with her and she's just brilliant. She's amazing. She's just so naturally beautiful and just a great makeup artist. She's kind of the one who inspired me to do my YouTube channel and um, I love Nicole Guerrero. I love SMLXO is her name. I really enjoy watching her. Loves Melissa Michelle. I watch her. Um, she's another fellow mommy here on YouTube. I love my new friends that I am making here on YouTube. Uh, my friend Maria. I love her. She is over across the seas from me, but I love watching her. I love my friend Angela that I've met here on YouTube. And she's like a fitness, like her body is so solid. Love Pink So Foxy. I love Carly Bybell. I think I'm saying her name right. Love Carly. She's so positive, so gorgeous. I love watching her videos. Just, I mean, you can't leave any of her videos without like a positive message. And I love, love, love that about her. I just love positive people. So yeah, I could just seriously go on forever. There's so many people that I like and try to keep up with. But yeah, so if I didn't mention you, don't get your feelings hurt because I love your videos too. And yeah, but there's so many that I'm like, you know, discovering and I'm making new friends every day on YouTube. And that's another thing that I really love Love about YouTube it's like I get so excited to like read you guys comments and like to talk back and forth with you guys like I love to talk I respond to everybody and like yeah so seriously number 26 what is your favorite movie and my all-time favorite movie of all time all-time favorite movie of all time <laughs> is The Wizard of Oz. I love The Wizard of Oz so much and oh my gosh you guys I made a blog post about this. Urban Decay is coming out with two palettes from Oz the great and powerful movie that is coming out. I think they said it was in April. I am so stoked to see this movie you guys like I'm so excited. I'm um, James Franco, Mila Kunis, Michelle Williams. I cannot wait to see this movie you guys. Um, if I'm not mistaken it's the same director that did like the Alice in Wonderland all kind of special effects movies like that. I've been a big Wizard of Oz fan ever since I was like four years old singing If I Only Had a Brain word for word on video in a hairspray can. Like that is so crazy. Um, it's just there's nothing like the Wizard of Oz and I can't wait to see um, like the prequel. I think it was a prequel that they said they were doing. But yeah, Oz the Great and Powerful, great cast, um, sick effects it looks and I actually did a blog post about the palettes and how excited I was that they were coming. Of course, I have to have them both. So yeah, I will link that blog post down below in case you guys are like into blogs and want to follow me over there or anything like that. But yeah, so The Wizard of Oz, but I love all movies. I love so many different movies. I'm a big, big movie person. Like music and movies are totally my thing. Love. I'm just an entertainment buff. I really am. Question number 27, your favorite TV show? I have so many of them too, but I've actually been really, really bad lately at keeping up with them because I've just been so busy. But um, Gossip Girl, Revenge, um, I love that new show Nashville that came out just last year. Um, but I need to catch. I have so much catching up to you guys. Um, the new 90210. Um, yeah, of course the old. I mean, duh. But yeah, like 90210. Um, I watch their Kardashians like I used to be like whenever you know there's like a new season or whatever like I will watch it um Teen Mom oh gosh that's like a guilty pleasure of mine Teen Mom oh my gosh definitely like Jersey Shore another guilty pleasure um so like yeah like definitely reality TV and yeah like anything the OC is like my all-time favorite that ever was like I love Seinfeld I love the King of Queens like yeah so seriously um but yeah the OC was my all-time favorite like Ooh, just I loved the OC and I hated that there was only four seasons <laughs> after they killed Marissa off it like it was done so and then of course all of the like singing like 
The Boys has taken over though. I used to like American Idol, but it's just not what it once was whenever the original judges, Simon, Paula, Randy, like it's just not, Ryan is the host of course, like best TV host that there is ever. Um, it's just not the same anymore and nor it ever will be. I don't know even what I think about this season yet. The Voice has taken over. I love Adam Levine. I love him so much. Love Christina Aguilera. Um, yeah, CeeLo, Blake Shelton. The Voice is brilliant. Even though there's going to be two other judges, new ones stepping in, two are leaving, Christina Aguilera and CeeLo. But yeah, so Blake and Adam and I think it is Shakira and Usher. So that will be interesting. And yeah, so like, I, whatever. This is getting too long. I need to go. Question 28, a PC or Mac? Mac all the way. Once you go Apple, you will never go back. -o. Yeah, whatever. Apple, Apple, Apple all the way. Number 29, what kind of phone do you have? There are only two more questions, guys, I promise. I have an iPhone. The iPhone 4S is what I have. Let's see what Siri's doing. Siri, do you love me? How can I tell? Well, are you in love with me? I couldn't find any places matching. Well, are you? Are you tired, Siri? She we were talking that. about you, not me. <laughs> oh, gotta love the little sis. I love you, Siri. All you need is love and your iPhone. You heard it there, folks. All you need is love and your iPhone. All you need is love. Question number 30, how tall are you? I am like five foot six and something, a quarter, a half, I don't know, maybe five seven. Um, yeah, so in between five six and five seven. And last but not least, question number 31. These were a lot of questions, you guys. What are your future goals in life? Well, let me tell you what really quick because this has already been, how long have I been filming? I don't even know, but like, Hey guys, so I am back. I have no makeup on, all natural, but anyways, I wanted to turn the camera on and finish this tag video. Question number 31 was, what are your future goals? Or something along the lines of that. And my future goals for myself would have to be pursuing makeup. I love makeup and every aspect about anything, beauty, hair, makeup, I mean, I love it all. That definitely, but my number one thing in life ever since I was little, if you ever asked me what I wanted to be, for the most part at a very young age. I've always wanted to be an actress. So here lately I've been, I mean, anything acting, like any experience, like like in general, anything here locally, like I wanna take some acting classes. I really need to get into that because that's a really big thing if you want to pursue an acting career. And I know that a lot of work obviously would not be where I live. New York, LA, places like that is where I will have to be to like pursue stuff like that. But that's like, you know, very in the future future talking about in the future bottom line is you guys anything that you want to do in your life it is totally up to you like don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something the sky is the limit like not even the sky it is above that you guys like you can do anything any one of us can do anything it's all up to us like nobody else can do it for us whatever it is that you want to do you have to do it and so i am taking the actions for my, for my life and what i want to be doing it what I want to be doing it, <laughs> the actions for my life and what I want to do. I am doing whatever it is that I can and that I know how to do and I'm doing it and I am proud of myself for where I am just right now and like what I've done and I just can't, I just know that this year is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what the rest of this year holds. It's already been off to a great and wonderful start. More along the lines of acting like I would love to be in like a film, anything like that, like I always thought of myself as being in a dramedy, which is a drama slash comedy or whatever, but like anything comedy related, like I always wanted to be like the ditzy like mean girl or something. Like I could play a really good mean girl and I could play like a really good like funny best friend, like the side girl or whatever, anything like that. And I also thought that I would be a really good host. The next Juliana Rancic, um, co-hosting with Ryan Seacrest or anything like that, like a host, like me interviewing the celebrities. I am amazing at asking questions. Anybody that knows me, you know that I talk. And furthermore, you know that I ask a lot of questions. Like I'm just super, super talkative and inquisitive and I like to know things. And if I am interested in anything, like I always ask questions because you can't learn without asking questions. Just being me and like being a host of like E! 
E! News or something like that is so me, so up my alley. So you never know, maybe one day, like, hey, whatever. Life is too short to not go out there and get what you want. And if there is a will, there is a way. And I really, truly believe that with all of my heart, you can do whatever it is that you want to do, guys. So you have to be positive. And it is so hard in like a world that we live in today with so much negativity around us. But I refuse to let that get at me because I tuned out. I am so positive And yeah, so... My channel is all about being positive and just loving life, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to stop talking now because you all know by now that I love to talk and my videos are like super long, but hey, whatever. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I am above 100, pr 100 prescribers. <laughs> I am over 110 subscribers now, and I am like so over the moon. Like that may not even sound like a lot to some people out there who have thousands of people, but you know what? If there was only one or two people out there watching me, I would still make videos because it is what I like to do. And I know that on the other side of this camera, I am talking to you. So talk back to me. Leave me comments. Let's talk. Follow me on Twitter. I have a blog if you're into like blog posts and stuff like that. I don't, I really need to start getting more into blogging, but videos is kind of like more of my thing because I feel like I can talk at a camera which I am great at doing and get to talk to you guys so that was the end of this tag video if you guys want to do this tag video it's not like a newly tag tagged video that's like going around or whatever but I kind of just wanted to do this now that I got a little more subscribers and just to get to know me or whatever if there's anything else that I left out that wasn't in any of these questions feel free to ask me if there's anything else you want to know about me go for it. I love ask, or answering questions. I love asking questions, but I love answering them too. So yeah, you know, boop, boop, boop. I am wrapping this video up for real now, you guys. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. And I have so many tutorials and videos that I'm wanting to do and I need to get on the ball. So I just wanted to kind of film this video and get this up in the meantime. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tag video. Thank you XOXO Kirsten for doing this tag. I really enjoyed yours. I hope you like mine and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys. Hey everybody. Hey everyone. Hey everyone! What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on a get to know me.